Hi everyone, this is Peter here. I hope you're all doing great. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a compilation of bird shots that were taken with the Canon 1DX Mark II on the Canon EF 100 to 400 millimeter lens, the second iteration with image stabilization. I took the majority of these images at the local nature reserve, but some were captured in our backyard. If you'd like to know how I set up my camera for both stationary subjects and birds in flight, then you should check out this video after, in which I show you how I have customized all the different settings that still might be relevant to you even if you are using one of the newer mirrorless models. Anyway, let's have a look at those shots now. Let's start with some images that I captured in our backyard. In this first series you can see a couple of beautiful white-faced herons that initially were resting together on the roof of the house next door. I actually spotted them while I was indoors, just looking through the window, so I rushed outside to try to grab some shots when all of a sudden noisy miners and karawongs started to harass them. The first one flew away shortly after and I was really happy with the shot where the heron was in between the vegetation, although I wish there had been a little more space to have the beak separated from the background, but it still looked quite nice. In this subsequent image, you can see how well the tracking was still working, even though the foliage was covering a fair bit of the bird's body. The next several images were chosen from about 30. I decided to just pre-focus on the point where the bird was resting and started to shoot whenever I saw the carabong enter the viewfinder, and I was hoping that I'd be able to capture something decent. I was really stoked with how beautiful those black and white wings looked in this particular shot. Our next subject is a common miner, which is an invasive species in Australia, and unfortunately they have a detrimental effect on our native birds. We have way too many in our neighborhood as well, and in this series of shots you can see that it had found a piece of plastic, unfortunately, which it was going to use as a building material for its nest under the roof of our neighbor's house. It's so frustrating to witness when birds use rubbish like this instead of natural materials for their nest construction, but unfortunately due to the lack of care by a lot of people, so much waste ends up right in our very own backyards. In these following shots, which I took of one of our friendly magpies in our garden, a young female was preening herself and it looked pretty funny when she started shaking off some dust and dirt, then all of a sudden took off from the fence. The next two portraits I took were of the patriarch of the family, the dominant male. He was resting on the clothesline for a while, so it was fairly easy to get close and separate the background for some pleasant bokeh. This in-flight capture of him is quite detailed, as he flew very close to me, expecting to be fed. The last few images were of the matriarch of the family, who is still quite timid and rarely gets close to us when feeding. Here you can see a few shots as she was about to land on the heels hoist. I've got two different edits of this particular shot where I decided to clone out some of the distracting elements for a cleaner frame. You might be familiar with this very last shot already, which I absolutely love, and this image was actually transformed into a beautiful painting by Lorraine O'Donnell, which you can check out in another video of mine if you are interested. Our next subject is a Pacific black duck that I saw at the local wetlands. She must have been foraging just looking at that beak. The next two telephoto shots, which I had to crop quite a bit, as 400mm didn't give me enough reach, were taken of a dusky moorhen with a tiny chick that she was feeding with some aquatic vegetation. She looked super adorable. This next portrait is of a Nanki night heron that seemed to be quite sleepy on a cold morning, hiding amongst dense foliage with its head tucked in. In this next in-flight capture, which is from my archive, you can see its body much better and the vibrant yellow iris which really stands out on this beautiful species. The next four images are of a gorgeous, extremely vibrantly colored eastern rosella that was foraging on the ground, chewing on some juicy bits of weed. These wild birds are usually very timid and hard to approach, but this one didn't seem to be bothered by me or was just way too focused on its breakfast. Our second last series are of noisy miners. Here you can see a few adults eating some seeds on a wooden log. 
The next few portraits were taken of a smaller juvenile that was exploring its environment. It looked really cute with its chubby appearance. I had to up the ISO quite substantially because of the low light in these shots, but still managed to retain plenty of detail in its plumage. I left a few more in-flight shots last, this time of a laughing kookaburra. We've got a resident pair at the local reserve and they can be quite loud when cackling together. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below which shot was your favorite. Also, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again and catch you all in the next one.